In this video I'm going to show you a few different forms of Drosera capillaris that I own. This particular species is very easy to grow and I've maintained these for over four years without giving them dormancy. This particular plant is from Seminole County, Florida and normally it is referred to a long, as a long arm form but it is now winter in uh, Iowa and so they when the temperatures cool down and I don't feed them as regularly they form more of a flat rosette in comparison to when they're in active growth and Drosera long arm forms normally uh, produce sprawling upward pointing leaves and I have a few plants that are still kind of in that upward state but for some reason or another this particular clump over here in this plant are going a bit dormant I'd say. Um, they don't actually truly form a dormant bud but they slow down in growth when it gets cooler and their leaves aren't as large or as uh, sprawling as they normally would be in warmer temperatures. So this one that you're looking at from Polk County is very similar to the Seminole County form. I haven't noticed too many differences except just really size. Um, but other than that, those are very similar forms. I also have one that I bought seeds from uh, World of Carnivores before the site went down. I don't know if you can see it through this compensus, but um, they I enjoyed that form, and whenever I send out seeds, I just label it as World of Carnivores form. It uh, is the long arm form as well, and produces those upward sprawling leaves. But it looks really nice when it's kind of in a clump, and they're just really, really are a beautiful specimen when they are in their active growth in the spring, especially. This one over here is what I refer to as more of a typical form. I don't have a location from this, but I did get it from Cook's Carnivores uh, four years ago. And it always forms a flat rosette. This is not the long arm form, so it re uh, maintains growth that um, remains at the level of the, the media surface. And it also produces a few offshoots that you can see here, little guys that are kind of popping out from underneath it. And over here I have I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's a form I received as Drosera species Baleem Brazil. And after talking with a sort of what I'd call a taxonomist uh, who knows his, his stuff about these plants, he recommended to change the Baleem name to um, just a long arm form from Southeast United States. Since he his um, opinion on the matter was that a grower in Brazil received these from a, a store or somewhere that they had um, been selling a lot of these capillaris plants and just label it as Baleem Brazil because that's probably where the store was or whatever but either way these should uh, if you receive these seeds from me Drosera species Baleem uh, from or capillaris forms you should relabel them as long arm from southeast United States and I've been correcting that error in uh, packets that I've been sending out lately. So, But I, I hope you can get a, a pretty good idea, even though they are sort of going to their more dormant, slower growth right now. Um, kind of just a, a general idea of what these plants look like. But in the spring, I, I should probably do an update video. Um, but they really grow quite vigorously and, and uh, produce some much larger traps that are really stunning uh, when you feed them enough. And that's another thing before I close this video is that you can see, um, at least on a few that I've been feeding every so often, that they produce a, a decent amount of seeds. And so feeding them every three weeks or so, you're going to get tons of stalks. I have a picture of this particular plant that had about five stalks on it at once. And they ripen at different times, and so you can have seeds to send out to different people if they're interested in acquiring the species. So highly recommend feeding as always with this particular species. So with that I'll conclude the video. That was Drosera capillaris. Thanks for watching.